And welcome to the Confound Millennial, starring Stephen Sturvin Michaels, Ryan Diamonds, who's very confused from his left and his right, and featuring special guest, Woo! Parable. What's up, everybody? That's awesome. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Hey. So this is probably a record for how many guests we've had on the show at once. So just for the uh, people listening, let's get a little bit of a roll call going. Who all we got over here from Parable? Uh, right to left, right? Yeah. yeah I'm, uh, I'm Jared. I play guitar. I'm Cole. I play drums. I'm Justin. I'm on the vocals. I'm uh, James, bass player. And I'm Dustin. I play guitar and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I play guitar, but I do lots of other stuff too, man. I'm a and d uh, fanatic. They need me. You know how right you are. That's great. So who plays drums? That's me. Oh, there you go. That's awesome. I, I'm bad at paying attention. My bad. <laughs> you guys must practice a lot. That's really tight. That's amazing. All right. So Did we uh, lose anybody? No. Nope. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Jared's internet connection does that to us sometimes. So, yeah. <laughs> one of the perks of being in Kentucky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's uh, one of the reasons why we got you on is uh, we're probably like 45 minutes away. Like, there's no such thing. I've never heard of a metal band in Kentucky as long as I've lived up here. Oh, really? What part are you from? Uh, Moorhead. I've only been up here for a few years, though, but just all the concerts up here are just country. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bluegrass. They and like, crazy. if I want to catch a show, uh, like, I got to go to Cincinnati or something. Yeah. 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 If you love Wagon Wheels, that's right. Oh, yeah, man. I don't know. The Poppy Mountain Festival is pretty lit. But it's still bluegrass. That is bluegrass. Bluegrass is pretty metal too. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sometimes. <laughs> I like bluegrass. I, actually, I used to play bluegrass. I mean, come on. Yeah. I had uh, some buddies that were like these bluegrass gospel musicians. They partied harder than any rock star I've ever met. <laughs> oh, yeah. I believe it. I bet they party harder than we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> we go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Too. Nothing wrong with that. So tell us a little bit about Parable. How long have you guys been a band? Oh, well, uh, let's see. Well, this rendition of the band started in like what 2020, 2021? Yeah. What? A couple of years ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's a hard time yeah. to start. Well, we had we yeah. were writing songs about that time, and Justin joined us, I think, late 2021, something about something around there, and we were getting lyrics together. We played what, five or six shows last year, but um, outside of Parable, like, me and Cole have been playing with each other for probably about 15 years. We me started and, together. Yeah. Me and Jared, uh, we've been playing together since, I mean, for probably about 10 years. So. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Same with actually, same with just about all these people. Yeah. We've all played with each other and Yeah, we've always. all been in various different projects and stuff together for probably Especially the last family. almost fifteen years I'd say. Wow. But, yeah. Well, I just but, turned forty and fifteen doesn't sound like a long time, but still I get it. <laughs> That's half my yeah. life. Man, yeah. Yeah. tell me about me too, it. Man. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. It's over half my life. Wow. 
Wow, I'm old. That's great. You guys sound really tight. Like you, you must practice a lot. Uh, at least once a week. Yeah. Once a yeah. week's good. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to make it more. We're, I, yeah, I'd like to do more, but once a, at least if we can get once a weekend, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's awesome. I was in a band back when I was a teenager, I guess, up until my twenties, and uh, we never practiced. <laughs> we just show up, and all of a sudden, the singer would say reggae, and we'd start playing reggae. I guess. I guess that's why you all aren't in a band anymore. That's probably why I'm not in a band anymore. <laughs> You're right. Awesome. You probably... yeah, we'd on stage with each other and be like, "Okay, technical death metal." Just, in case. Yeah. <laughs> just follow this finger. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I got you. Good luck. <laughs> so you guys just came out with uh distance just a couple weeks ago, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yep. How has the fan reaction been to that so far? Pretty positive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we yeah. get at least like a hundred views a day on the That's YouTube amazing. Video. Yeah. And Yesterday, we looked at our Spotify's, uh, like, plays. It was only, like, 120 or so. And then today we looked, and it's, like, over 5,000. Yeah. Holy like, cow. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah well, I'm, I'm temporarily going to call hacks. We were an active listener, like, 5,300. Yeah, so and there's but, probably something screwed up in the algorithm. I don't know. Like, yesterday, we had over 200 people at the same time, apparently. Apparently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's, so far, it's been really positive. It's been really positive. Um, I, I mean, I haven't really heard anything negative about it. No. So. All those bots we paid for, really. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, like, really I cool. had uh, really hadn't heard of you guys until you released it and then uh, got a Facebook-sponsored ad, and I was like, oh, shit, these guys are nearby, too. And uh gave it a listen. I was like, hell, yeah, let's get them on. Especially local. We're trying to promote some local stuff. It's great. I mean, I'm not local, but local between us. Local's relative. It is. <laughs> Speaking of relative, I think I'm related to that drummer. So my dad has a son. My and <laughs> <laughs> so oh you can't see it. Anyway, this guy looks identical to the drummer. I think I'm related to him. Has my dad been to up there? <laughs> I don't know, man. You can't see it. <laughs> no this guy. <laughs> you can't see it. <laughs> Dang it. Looks identical. <laughs> I think we're related. We might be brothers. Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, man. A confound millennial bringing families together. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm scared to do a genetic test. They're going to be like, oh, you got siblings everywhere. <laughs> it, it's country, man. Everybody's yeah, yeah, for sure. You can start matchmaking service out of that, too. <laughs> like especially in like Alabama. Oh, <laughs> oh, You're my sister. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, all right. You're back in charge. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I was making a connection. I was related to somebody. <laughs> all right, that, all right. So, <laughs> so back, uh, back to the music a little bit. You guys got any uh, shows lined up that you can talk about, or still looking for uh, spaces for that? Not, not one that we can talk about just yet. Gotcha. Yeah, it will be a pretty good one. Yeah, once we can talk about it. Yeah, nice. now, we have one of the works that we're yeah, we're pretty well certain that's going to happen, but no, nothing else yet. It hasn't been announced yet. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll make sure to share that once it is. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so where else are you guys going? Are you just staying up there? Are you gonna move around? I mean, tour. We, we want to play anywhere and everywhere that'll have us. You know. Yeah, we're, we're, we're ready to go. Like, well, almost ready, but we're trying. No, yeah, we want to play Blue Ridge. That'd be sick. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be really good. Yeah, P- pretty much. We've been working up uh, 
this whole time until pretty much around like July area to like play shows and stuff. Yep. Um, we're working on our shows, working on some new songs, things like that. Getting merch and all that stuff ready. Yeah. Hit the road. Yeah, we're we'll talking about. Yeah. We'll give it the old college try. The old college. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Remind me when we're done. Uh, I got this guy that, uh, or a buddy of mine, runs a smoke shop with a venue in it. He might be interested in uh, having you guys. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Weirdest stages are where you get, like, where you know you're going to make it, man. Like, for some reason, and I'm from Georgia, there's this, uh, Delhi that had a stage in it and like people <laughs> viewed it as a rite of passage. Wow. Well. Wow. It was the craziest concert I ever been to. I was in a mosh pit one second and then I had a Reuben in my hand. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> it's like uh well you go to Columbus, they've got that Donato's pizza up there. Yeah, the, the yeah. basement of that pizza place. Yeah. Oh yeah, we yeah, there's like Donato's pizza in Columbus that has a venue in the basement. Yeah. yeah. I lost That's my awesome. drum rope here. You lost your what? My my drum rope. Like oh. <laughs> <laughs> same. <laughs> That's a great. It's too close for the college room. Nobody knows how to park. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of construction. That's Columbus. Yeah, there's, there's Columbus. always there's Columbus, there's construction <laughs> everywhere in Columbus. Yeah, true. You got any more questions? Or no, I was just thinking about Columbus for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Threw me off. I had a bunch of like the other day. I checked on my uh, Pokemon Go that I hadn't played in like years, and I had a bunch of uh, like. Pokey stops from Columbus. I don't remember even being there. <laughs> One of those nights. That's why I don't drink anymore. <laughs> so, uh, you guys play any uh, magic? Any kind of nerd stuff going on? Uh, yeah, that's me. I'm, uh, a, I'm a big magic fan. Really? <laughs> nice. Any other nerds among the group? Or is he like just hauling the weight of the nerd on above his shoulders. Uh, well, I, I like other kind of nerdy stuff, yeah, like fighting a, games. Yeah, he's in fighting games. Too. These two are into wrestling. Damn right. Wrestling. Oh, yeah. Damn yeah. right. <laughs> wrestling. Wrestling. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped my pocket there. That's the extent of my nerd I like it- little kids things, like uh, they're playing <laughs> I never heard of those. Trains. <laughs> no, you didn't have a train face, but oh, I had a train face. Uh, stuff that flew and stuff that went really fast. Like, I never grew out of that. I had a train face. <laughs> <laughs> I had a train face for about 25 minutes. I didn't like it because I was at the end. I had a cop lady. Not those kinds of trains. Let's move along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wasn't in a band that long. <laughs> oh, Sturman keeps a tight leash on me. I got to stop. Moving on. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of just uh, been unleashing Diamond's full blast upon these guys tonight, haven't I? Uh, the past couple, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I try to, I try to rein it in for myself. And so, you got more questions. <laughs> I was just gonna say we do this. We're doing the same thing to you that these guys do to me. Make editing <laughs> work. <laughs> you got to have a guy that's keeping everybody under that's, control. That's you got to. There you go. There you go. That's the responsible thing to do. But uh, actually, I didn't even come in with too many questions tonight because I really just wanted to, you know, when you've got uh, how seven people on a show, you know, it's really just more about trying to get a feel for everybody. And uh, 
I feel like you were you guys were going to have back on in a couple of years uh, talking about touring and stuff. I hope so. I mean, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. That would be awesome. It's we're like trying. already, like, I get people send me songs and stuff, and uh, your stuff sounds very well produced, and yeah. it's really good. Very oh, yeah. tight. Very tight. We have a good group of people that's helping us, yeah. I feel like. Yeah. I feel like uh, that yeah. guy <laughs> is keeping you guys together. It's that guy. That guy. <laughs> I mean, uh, Matt Napier, shout out. He did the music video, and he, it, it was great. And then we had, uh, yeah, we had uh, Chris White, the uh, drummer from Body Snatcher. If you guys have ever heard of that, um, we had him uh, mix and master the song for us. Nice. Had to clean up the drums some, huh? I know my brother. I know how he does. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that blood? <laughs> <laughs> we just needed it. We needed the help. <laughs> That's great, though. It's good to have good support, like folks be able to help you out do that. Yeah, for sure. So I know it's a uh, it's a question that's hard to ask, but being a podcaster, I have to ask. Um, any uh, plans on an album soon, or is this hush hush stuff? Right now, I don't smile. think we're gonna do albums. I think we're just gonna do like singles, as just like while we're still building our stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's how a lot of bands have been doing it lately, and uh, yeah. I've seen a lot of people succeed doing it that way. Mm. I mean, we'd love to do okay. albums, but. Right now, I just feel like the singles are the way it's the way it's. It's also cost effective for us. Yeah, that too. We see that a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. That's great. As always, ask because I've got a buddy in a band, and he absolutely refuses to do the single release uh, format because he views albums as like a a whole story. The way he writes yeah. his music. Yeah, yeah concept. Yeah, they have a concept down that's yeah. different. Also, if you're, it's also more effective if you come out with an album, if you have the same guy produce and mix it, you mm. have, you know, five or ten songs that sound relatively similar as far as the, the mix goes. But luckily for us, we're probably for the foreseeable future going to have the same guy you know, do all of our do all of our songs, so we'll have a pretty Consistent sound yeah. throughout at least the next few singles. Yeah. <laughs> Very yeah. cool. I, we would like to eventually do albums and stuff and do the storytelling format with a lot, like a big full length and everything. But right now, where we're still a young and up and coming band and everything, just the, the single format seems to make way more sense. Especially Speak with, for yourself. especially yourself. with the the youngins today, you know what I mean. Like with stuff like TikTok, like people's attention spans aren't gonna really for hold sure. a forty minute album anymore, or at least the young ones won't. <laughs> the short attention spans, I get it. Yeah, I, hit see, it and quit I, it. I'm known, I'm known as the guy with a really short attention span, but like that's my thing. Like I listen to an album front back. Right. Like I can't listen to one song or like half of one song like my wife does and then switch it up with really good song. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Why do people yeah. only listen to half a song, man? I only I listen to the hits. I don't listen to the hits. <laughs> I like listening to them all. I feel the same way. Yeah. yeah well, you get a better understanding of a band. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially if they did a concept album. You get to hear the whole idea. You know, yeah. an hour in, you're just like, oh, I get it. They had they had a plan. It's me great. and uh, me and the bass player are pretty big um, Pink Floyd fans. Me and James, so and that's all they ever did was concept albums. Mm -hmm. So we we, we like that idea just yeah. from the influence between the buried and me. Yeah, I like Cody and Cambry. All their stuff's constant. Yeah. Yeah. That's some good stuff, too. He's got a good yeah. voice. I love yeah, uh, Flaming Lips. 
Yeah, they are good. Those are good live. Yeah, they blew my fucking mind. The first time I, saw it. I wasn't That's, ready. I don't think anybody is. Yeah. <laughs> Them and Inflames are very underrated live. Uh, I guess Mastodon does really good uh, like concept albums. I guess the first couple ones I really enjoyed. They kind of got a little weirder with uh, oh, the yeah. ethereal and stuff, but yeah, I don't know. James Mastodon yeah. fans too. Yeah. Gojira. Gojira. Great guys. Great band. Yeah. So in uh, the spirit of trying to get to know you guys a little bit more, and uh, to play a social experiment, I've been wondering about uh, which one of you do you think would win in a fight, no holds bar against each other? Uh oh, this might fight. start something. So you're talking about like <laughs> no rules, like, like five, like yeah, no holds barred. Everybody fought each other. I don't know. James is the biggest. I feel like he can take us all. Fighting is allowed. <laughs> <laughs> And, yeah. and he knows martial arts and all this. Yeah, he kind of like he, he kind of has a slight, slight chance of having to fight somebody every day at work. So. <laughs> Prove it now. No, <laughs> no, no, do not. Yeah. This was a social <laughs> experiment. <laughs> My bad. I'll stop. <laughs> we, all, we all wrestle each other on his uh, PS4. <laughs> oh, there is a new uh, wrestling game out. Or come I'm, out. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. They're out of the game shop. <laughs> they haven't won. Oh, yeah. They did. Anyway. Isn't it crazy on those games you can make like any character ever? It's crazy. You can make like the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> <laughs> on the N64, man, they had that WWE game that was awesome. Make your own character with the walkout. And the, oh, it's yeah. great. That's right here. The new I mean, one's kind of like. 2000 yep. or No Mercy. Yeah, I think it was No Mercy. <laughs> I think yeah. I was 18 or 19. <laughs> that. So, uh, wrapping things up a little bit, you guys got anything you'd like to say to the fans that have been with you so far? We love you. You're Thank pretty. You. <laughs> Yeah, I like to touch you sometime. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Georgia. I'd go. Just, uh, see you guys. I've been told that. Just share it, share it with your friends because it's it, it's hard to get heard and get known when you're starting out. And, uh, <clears throat> we think that people like our stuff if they just hear it. You know what I mean? So, we I appreciate like all the feedback yeah. we yeah. have so far. I mean, like the amount that we've got now is like crazy. Yeah. So thank yeah. you to everybody that's like listened to it or watched it or anything. Like yeah. we greatly appreciate it. Very unexpected. Very yeah, uh, highly unexpected. YouTube and Spotify and how fast it's grown. You heard it from them. Go listen to their new single "Distance" out now. Uh, links in the description of this video. And uh, thanks for coming on tonight, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks it's for been real. Us, it's that's been awesome. fun. Can't wait to and, see you guys uh, live. Can't oh, wait to yeah. see you guys see play a show time. sometime. See you in July. July. Yeah. Ooh, see you then. You I guess I'm going to, uh, and this has play. been the Compound Millennial starring Steven Sturvin, Michaels, Ryan Diamonds, and Parable. This is the end.